Interior design and architecture software can be expensive. So if you're on a budget like me, but also want an easy to use tool to create drawings like this, then this video is for you. Ryan Design is a free alternative to CAD software for interior designers and architects, which allows you to draw faster than ever within the software. And you can style and annotate your drawings with solid fill, adding texture, adding hatch to make the overall drawing look more visually appealing. But if you're worried that you've already started a project in another software, well, Ryan has an ability to import and export drawings for PDF drawing sets and DWGs. If you started a project in AutoCAD, you can bring it in to Ryan and, and you can start right where you left off. In addition, you're able to collaborate real time within Ryan's software. You're not limited to just one person working in the model at a time like you might be with other programs. You can make annotations and model at the same time, but Ryan has so much more to offer, like their items library of over 4,000 elements with things from chairs all the way to sets of furniture that you can place into your model. You can also create schedules to itemize tables for procurement and budgeting. And as I mentioned with the collaboration before, you can do red lines to make drawing revisions and gather feedback right away from the canvas. They also have a material library that you can place ready-made textures and materials into your drawing to make it look that much better. And if let's say you haven't started creating drawings yet and you're just in the design phase, you can use mood boarding by adding pictures and drawings into Ryan to create stunning presentations using their sheets. But there are so many more features that I wanna show you. So let's hop into the templates that they have to offer. Now within Ryan, there's so many options of templates that you can use, but let's start with this simple apartment template. Now it's broken down into a couple different canvases or sheets that you can later turn in to a PDF set, but it's on an infinite canvas. So as you see, you can add as many things as you want to this canvas and there's no boundaries. Now it might slow down if you get too crazy, but we don't have to worry about that with this project. So as you can see, you can start to import images and inspiration of what you're looking for. You don't just have the ability to model and draw walls. You can also add hatches and filled regions, like I kind of mentioned before, to give textures and visualize the materials in all of the spaces, as well as adding dimensions and furniture or elements to give scale to the space. And it's just like anything else where you can add sections and elevations to the drawing so that you can have that on another sheet and start to detail it from there. Having legends of different wall materials as well as visualized images. It's never been easier to combine the design and the technical all in one location. Now let's hop into another Ryan template and actually start to model out some features. But first let's just go over kind of the basics of this template. It appears that there's like a demo plan and they also have some interior elevations that were designed out with some inspiration, wall details, as well as a furniture plan, furniture schedule, some fixtures laid out on a sheet with a material sheet and some wall finishes. So you can see just the basics of what Ryan can be capable of, but there is a ton of potential possible with this software. So on the right hand side, you can click into the blocks tab which allows you to search for things like furniture as well as groups of individual elements. So let's look for let's look for some living room furniture, like a couch. And my typing is a little bad right now. But there's several different options that you can choose from for a couch. As I said before, there's over 4,000 elements and blocks you can choose from. So you're not gonna get repetitive with all these furniture blocks. But let's say you want a grouping of elements as well. So if we type in kitchen, it might be tough to manually you know, place all the cabinets, the refrigerator, the dishwasher, and there are these row blocks of kitchen elements. So all you have to do is click to download it, and then let's drag and drop it. Um, this dragged it into the lighting plan, uh, let me put it in a better floor plan. So we'll go to this furniture plan, drop it in here. There's this L-shaped countertop with a bar seating. But I just wanted to see what it looked like if maybe it's just a singular row and a table. Just given the size of this kitchen dining room, there's not much room for it. 
not feasible, but you can just quickly test out things like that by producing these blocks. I'm gonna quickly model an extension to this dining room. So let's say this is just an existing house that they have. First thing we'll have to do, we'll delete some elements, right? Get rid of that door or those windows, excuse me. We can just use the trim tool or shortcut TR and you can enter that whenever you type in Ryan. It's kind of like AutoCAD where there is a command bar at the bottom. And so you can type in your command, you can trim things from there. But for this instance, I think it's better if we just delete it and then start from scratch. So you can just continue to model on from the existing wall. I'm thinking I'm gonna continue this wall out to the left a bit and then down. Like this, it's a little tough with it already on a drawing sheet, but I'm gonna move it a little bit, a lot more to the left actually, because it's not just gonna be a mini renovation. We are adding a, a full on living room because there's not really much space currently to have like a movie night or entertain people in the house. So we'll get rid of some of these annotations and models. We'll keep kind of the existing Right now this wall is a little off, so it's set to a red fill, we don't really want that. I'm gonna also give it a different texture, or you can also give it a hatch. I think the hatch might be best. And then I'm gonna create a zone and make this a texture. Because now I wanna make all this flooring the exact same. I'm thinking something, I'm gonna stick with a, like a concrete, just as an example. But then it got rid of all the elements that we had in front of it. So we're gonna have to bring it back a couple layers down to the, the zone layer. So to organize things a little bit better, you can create layers and a hierarchy of elements so that you don't lose things behind this concrete material like I just did. And now let's start adding some blocks to give it some character and start defining the space. Grab a couch, and we're thinking this is gonna be maybe a living room for hosting parties, eight to 10 people. So I think larger furniture elements would be the most beneficial. So we kind of have the with the couch, we'll get rid of this couch that's no longer um, benefiting us because we're expanding. And then I wanna mirror this vertically to get this long end of the couch over here against the wall find a smaller compartment sofa for maybe a couple more people there. TV, so we get a TV set with a TV and a stand. We'll set that up as viewing. Don't need this wall as big anymore now that we kind of know and understand the space a little bit better. I'll back this up, but I do want cabinets for storage as like a rug. Also, let's say we kind of want to mess around with this bed. It's creating an awkward shape back here. You can just easily rotate and start dragging and placing elements in different locations. Um, placing it up against the wall, maybe putting a, a nightstand over here. Super easy because we have the closet to the bottom of the bedroom. So this can be great if you just want to bring in like a room layout at home or in an apartment and you're trying to redesign some things. Bring in a couple blocks generally of the size of the the pieces of furniture that you have. And because this is free, you can measure in the dimensions of your room, bring it in, test out different orientations, uh, locations of things. Okay, so you have a table here, that's probably the best location for it, but you didn't like the lighting coming in from the backside, so your camera's getting blocked. You can also kind of mess with that. We rotate the bed over here back to where it was. Mess around with this, rotate it. That, that feels way too cramped. Maybe it's too big a bed, honestly. You wanna go with a, a twin size, you can scale it down. But let's say we take out these closets, take out the doors, make it more open. So you have two closets on either side or cl closed racks and you wanna add some lighting, you can drop in a window. Or we can go back to the blocks and type in door. Get this door family, bring it in. 
And there we go, we, we added a door just like that. You can adjust the size. Right now we're in feet, but if we wanted to change to meters, you can go to the bottom right, click on that scale, and go to the length unit, click on meters, and then also adjust the area to square meters. And just like that, all the dimensions of the area of each space have adjusted, and so have these linear dimensions as well. So it's super intuitive, doesn't adjust the scale of the drawing on the sheet either, which is great. You also have other features at the bottom hand, toolbar, but things like text, dimensions, leaders, arrows. Um, you can draw, add walls and openings, just like any other CAD software. Keep in mind, it, the workflow is not too dissimilar to those. I mean, I'm not gonna get into it too much. There's just the basic tools like offset, copy, move, trim, group. So I'm gonna move this desk into this closet space because I think maybe it, it conceals a little better. But I wanna add a comment here on the closets. That I removed two of the clothes racks. So when one of my team members comes into the model and they realize those two clothes racks are gone, I'm just commenting for them to see like, okay, he did that. It's not, it just didn't get deleted randomly or it was an error. So that, that can help repetitive mistakes and maybe communicate a little bit better. You can also annotate. So this was over here or maybe it started there and we wanna move it back to where we had it originally. It can be a quick annotation like that. But if Ryan seems like an interesting tool that you wanna try out, click on the link down in the description to try for free and feel free to reach out if you have any questions in the comments below.